I'm alive. My name's Mina. I'm a sole navigator sailor. I'd run into heavy winds in the South Pacific when a wave knocked me overboard. I fought through the pitch black night until the waves carried me onto this beach. No one in sight on shore. Strange. I feel like I'm being watched. Am I on a deserted island or an inhabited land? I'm feeling weak. I've got to find something to eat. Seeing things? I'm sure I saw someone up there. What a strange noise! Soot! This is a good place to make a fire.
the heat from the fires opening the oyster. First, make a hole to drink the milk inside. Then, cut up the shell to eat the flesh. Zero waste. First, make a hole to drink the milk inside. Then, cut up the shell to eat the flesh. Zero waste. Make a hole to drink the milk inside. Then, cut up the shell to eat the flesh. Zero waste. How strange. Those rusty pieces of metal fixed to the rock. What could they have been used for? The heat from the fire is bending the acacia thorns.
I've eaten enough. I'm feeling good. I ought to check out the island. That sound again. Smoke! Could there be an inhabited house over there? Hibiscus is one tough plant. Its fibers will make an excellent rope. It's just steam coming from the hot spring. There's no inhabited house around these parts. on over there. It sounds like an animal in distress. A maple tree. I need a container. a gentle current pushing me towards the shore. I need a container to collect some water. These vines might just come in handy, provided that I cut them up high so they're long enough. It's broken. <gasps> it's only a scarecrow.
Some big cat went that way. From the size of those tracks, I sure don't want to run into it. Stones at me. Luckily, I'm out of range. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is a good place to make a fire. an inscription engraved on the inside of the box. It looks like a poem. It's broken. It's broken. Let's move that. Someone's going to get hurt. There's no way I can go there. It's too dark. Hey, what have we here?
to fire some pottery. Now I've got some containers that can hold water and withstand fire. I've got a feeling they're going to come in very handy. Jep is feeling well enough to eat. Good night's sleep, you'll feel much better. Let's settle down in front of a warm fire and get some rest. I am Captain Nemo. I haunt this island in search of eternal rest. Find my body and give me a proper burial. <laughs> sleep okay, Jeff? this dream. Well, I suppose it was a dream. Do you believe in ghosts? Don't be afraid. If we stick together, nothing will happen to us. Climb onto my shoulder. If we work as a team, we'll be able to get a lot more done.
I'm going to make some rope ladders with these vines. This sulfurous water is boiling. I can't drink it, but I could use its heat to cook something. You'd need to be a monkey to get up there. Sulfurous water is boiling. I can't drink it, but I could use its heat to cook something. I'm going to have to get this animal out without killing it.
It's not a bad idea. But I think it's missing something. No way I can go there. It's too dark. I need a lamp or a candle. There's no way I can go there. It's too dark. It's a torn note by a trembling hand. Let's see if I can make it out, despite the missing parts. Pacific, Lincoln Island. Let's see, a mountain to the east, a big lake cut off from the coast by a cliff. This Lincoln Island has got to be where I am. A map of the South Pacific. There's a cross in the middle of the ocean with the name Lincoln Island, located between the 35th and 40th parallel, and between the 150th and 155th meridian west of Greenwich. Hmm. The closest inhabited land is more than 1,200 miles away. a good place to make a fire.
see what I saw, Jet? A present for you. Pearl, it's huge. It might be valuable enough to replace the boat that I lost. As long as we stick together, nothing will happen. Something moving over there. I've made a battery. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to recharge my phone. The battery level's going up. Let's hope it works. Just before the accident, I was on course to break the record. I just took too many risks and I blew it. If I ever get out of here, who's gonna trust me with another boat? Barely a month ago, I was rounding Wessent Island as part of the Jules Verne Trophy, a non-stop round-the-world sailing competition. I'd chosen to go it alone. 
I was so sure of myself. I'd moved heaven and earth to find a boat.
He's too rough. He'll never get along with Jack. We found my sailboat drifting. They reported me as missing. But without a beacon, what are the odds of them finding me here? It'd be like finding a needle in a haystack. Just before the act... GPS has got my position. Longitude, 150 degrees and 30 minutes west. And latitude, 34 degrees and 57 minutes south. Batteries are full. And satellite reception is okay, but my phone won't transmit. I'm going to have to get this animal out without killing it. Followed the bait in one go. With all that sleeping potion I used, he should leave me alone. At least I hope so. Okay, Jep, 
Let's see where this well goes. I hope this diving suit doesn't spring a leak. Look! A vessel anchored in the cavern. A submarine! to get down it. This robot must be broken. probably thinks there's no chance of me being alive. Batteries are... box is screwed shut.
way here. That robot's gonna see me. Standing guard on the deck. I have to time it perfectly. Climb up and act fast. I'm not in the right position to shoot. Good idea, but it's not enough. It 
looks like some parts have come off the mechanism. like a long way. Should I go for it? <gasps> a robot! It's going to kill me! Is that you, Captain Nemo? It thinks I'm the captain. I'd better play along with it. Yes, yes. It's me. I hope your outing has been enjoyable, Captain. seems familiar. It could be Captain Nemo when he was young. He looks happy in the painting. As for the woman, where have I seen her face before?
the Mysterious Island, a book by Jules Verne. A first edition. Passages have been underlined in pencil. They tell of the island being completely destroyed in a volcanic eruption. Captain Nemo's very own notebook. A letter addressed to Captain Nemo by the writer Jules Verne. I am happy to see you, Captain. You have been absent for more than 50 years. Your vessel has since deteriorated somewhat. Do you think it's seaworthy? No, Captain, for three reasons. Firstly, a tremor has partially blocked the entrance to the cave in which we are anchored. Secondly, rust has eaten through the steering cables. Finally, all available energy is powering the shield, isolating your island. I want you to deactivate the shield. With all due respect, your order contradicts your previous instructions. I can only obey if you confirm your identity. How? My sensory identification circuits are damaged. Consequently, I must follow the procedure that you put in place and ask you a series of questions. Correct answers will prove that you are the captain. Here is the first riddle that you must solve. Underneath the ocean, it's racing across the sand. Jumping and galloping, like its big brother on land. There flows around its graceful neck, a mane so soft and pure. All it needs are four good hooves to jump the stable door. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the seahorse. A pretty little fish whose head looks like a horse. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. What correspondence from so far away can shed some light on a captain's fate? The astrolabe and boussole. Ships of such pride ran on to coral, this captain's last ride. Gates have been engraved on the copper plaques, but they're too far away for me to read them.
You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? The riddle refers to the correspondence addressed to La Perouse. The vessels belonging to the great navigator were called the Astrolabe and the Boussole. The captain went down with the ships after hitting a reef. Correct answer, captain. Here is the next riddle. A life-saving animal for sailors in strife. On more than one occasion, it has saved someone's life. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the dolphin. Several legends tell of this animal helping shipwreck survivors through dangerous seas to reach the shore. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Racing the oceans, its beauty undenied. A curse it is to mariners, claiming so many lives. But to shipwrecked sailors, a blessing it can be. In millions, they form islands, the perfect sanctuary. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's coral. This animal lives in massive colonies, forming reefs which have claimed many boats, as well as islands that provide valuable shelter for shipwrecked survivors. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Captain, show me this strange creature that we don't ever eat. However, it always drinks. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the sponge. It's always full of water and tastes so bad that no predator dares eat it. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. When its contents turn misty and start forming stars, it strikes fear into the weak of heart. Better take cover, or feel nature's wrath. Solve this riddle, Captain. When its contents turn misty, and start forming stars, it strikes fear into the weak of heart. Better take cover, or feel nature's wrath. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the storm glass. When there's a storm approaching, the liquid inside becomes cloudy, and crystals, poetically called stars, form inside the tube. That's generally a good indication that Mother Nature is about to unleash all her fury. So take cover! Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Its silvery surface, which weighs the invisible, has frequently saved you from winds so terrible. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? the barometer, whose mercury surface, shining like silver, weighs the invisible air. 
That's how it measures atmospheric pressure, whose variations warn of impending storms and bad weather. Correct answer, Captain. You have passed the test, Captain. Any doubts I may have had about your identity have been resolved. I shall obey your orders. Immediately deactivate the shield, cutting us off from the outside world. Yes, Captain. Mom? You can hear me! Yes, Mom. Me too. Sure, but listen to me first. Make a note of my position. Did you get it? Yes, the island's big. I'm on the east coast. I'll light a fire for the rescue services. 